their level six. And uh, I mean, yeah, the Empire have got to be really aware of kind of Secret's mid-game global presence because it's going to be very strong. Mm, I, I think Secret, they, they might actually still pick up the Kotal. They need someone okay. to defend the, the towers, I, I feel. And Kotal plus Storm Spirit could be something that they want to do. It's going to be very good for the Storm, so he, he always gets mana. But if they do Kotal plus Io, they don't have much disables. That's the weakness of that. Now for the fourth pick here of Secret. Let's see if they do indeed to go for something like that to complement their draft so far. We're still looking for, of course, their third core and the second support here for the side. They've already used a majority of their reserve time here as well compared to what Team Empire have. And, oh, it's going to be the Brood pick. They're going to sneak it in here as the fourth pick up and... Again, one of those heroes that teams, when they're thinking about it, they do not want to play against it. They'll just casually ban it out. But this time, it gets through the draft. Empire, they try and do something against it, and they're going to straight away pick up the Axe here. Yeah, they, they want to do Witch Doctor plus Un... It's more or less confirmed that the Witch Doctor and Undying are their support, though. So they need a core that can actually deal with the Brute Mother. So Axe would be... There are three cores, basically. Darks here, Tyranter, and Axe. This tree is the best cause in to just stand in the lane against the bro mother and you don't really need that much of the help so i mean it's a very good pickup here and especially against the bristle back as well because you force him to face you yes with your Berser berserker's call so it's a very good pickup here for empire against secret hero and you're looking at empire's lineup indeed for this final pickup they'll almost certainly need uh, what i'd imagine to be silence hero uh viper's going to be banned out interestingly enough they don't want Empire having a very strong pushing lineup because Viper, yeah. Queen of Pain, and X. The Viper can get the mech for the team, and X will be going on initiating items and Queen of Pain the usual co-op items. So Empire takes out Kotal, but there's still CM. CM will be good with the alignment. I feel Bristleback and Brute and Storm all use mana very, very efficiently. So CM will be a hero that, the, especially when I play Bristleback, I'm really happy when I have CM on my team. Yeah. Cool space galore. <laughs> Quill sprays for days indeed. And well, let's see if they go for something like that here with the final pick. We saw, of course, uh, Puppy rocking the CM uh, yesterday, and it, it was pretty, pretty damn pretty. So we'll see what he goes for here to complement the draft. Last final 10 seconds coming down here at the draft time. What's Puppy going to opt for? Let's have a little. What does he take? Is it going to be something funky, something a little bit fun? And there we go. It is indeed going to be the Crystal Maiden, as we were saying. So their lanes can be pretty flexible. I think they they are gonna probably do brute. Uh, I guess brute will be. They can. They might even put brute against like they they don't want to put the brute against the axe. So they might start brute on the safe lane and put Io Bristle back off lane. Storm will probably be middle most likely. I I guess and CM might start from the jungle. I'm not so sure because you don't want to put the brute straight up against the axe at the start. Ideally, that's that's what you ideally don't want to have. And here we go then, final pickup for Empire. So, what do are, what are they take? What other, what other options are kind of Empire looking at now to, to kind of deal with what Secret have brought to this fight? Uh, let's see. They probably need a carry. Resolution's hero. Uh, sorry, not Resolution. Uh, Silence hero. Uh, wait, I can't really figure out what... Gyro probably is the best choice, but it's banned. Hmm... They need someone with Disable, I don't know, Void, but Void's laning phase will be two weeks, so probably not. And they, they want to put Axe against Brute, so it probably means it's a mid hero, and Quap will go with Undying off lane. Mid hero that has carry potential. TA, not sure, because TA, then they have the Undying TA combo, they have the double slow, and they have Roshan on Dire, so TA could be a possible pickup for them. Okay, yeah, let's see if they run something like that. We've seen a... I can't remember if it was in this league, but uh, it might have been in, in fact, Dream League. The TA has been picked up a couple of times. And oh, Empire now taking the time here. This is a big pick. You know, Team Secret at the moment, they're on something ridiculous. It's like a 12, 13... I don't know, it's, something, it's over 10 game win streak. Not a single team has been able to take a game from them. The question is, is Empire going to be able to do it? And it's going to be the Outworld Devourer here. And that is going to be Resolutions here. So it looks like we're probably going to see... Is it going to be silent on the Queen of Pain? I'd imagine. Uh, or is they going to put a position one axe and do the Quap yeah, off lane? Maybe, maybe the axe. I, yeah. I think Quap is definitely going off lane for okay. sure with the Undying. Uh, but the other, the other lanes would be probably Witch Doctor and Axe. Or they would just leave Axe against the Brute. But I, I think Secret would try to switch up their lanes to avoid... 
putting, like I mentioned, the brute versus the axe directly from level one. So there'll be a lot of, uh, I think, musical lanes, I guess, trying to get the better of the opponents. OD against uh, Io or Bristolback or uh, Storm alone would be yeah. pretty good for Empire. Yeah, it's interesting. Obviously, it's a hero that we don't see that much at all. Yeah, you usually pick OD. Uh, I, I think you mostly see it from uh, Mushi's team. They pick OD against especially Io plus Tiny because it makes the Tiny unable to spam during the early phase and it's really good against uh, those two heroes because OD can farm a lot versus Io Tiny. But I guess it would be the same if Io Bristolback. Bristolback can't spam as well. So they would be trying to avoid that lane as well. So let's see what are the lanes, Mr. Owen. Yes, indeed. Let's get ourselves into this one, ladies and gentlemen. The first game of this best of five here between the sides of Team Secret and Team Empire here for the Mars TV Dota 2 League. Once again, just a little bit of a disclaimer and an apology uh, due to some technical mishaps at the start. Winter's mic is not working in-game, so I do apologize. If you wish to hear Winter as well, you will have to head over to the stream on Azubu. But with that out of the way, let's get ourselves acquainted with the sides. On the side of Secret, it is going to be the RTZ Bristleback Kuroki will be on the eye. You can have S4 on his Storm Spirit, and that finally leaves Puppy on his signature Crystal Maiden, and Zai on the Broodmother. It's myself, Odie Pixel, joined by Winter. And Winter, do you want to go ahead and introduce to us the tide of Team Empire? My pleasure. On the dire side, we have Empire Yoki on the Axe. We have Resolution on the OD, Always Wanna Fly on the Witch Doctor, Aloha Dance on the Undying, and lastly, we have Silent on the Offlane Queen of Pain. And he's starting out with... Huh, another recipe. So he's going to pick up the mantle on the side shop. Uh, first rune, we're going to go to the OD and the IO, I think. Yeah, OD and the IO. And I think, well, by the looks of this from the side, a team's secret. I mean, they, they're too, looking at the lanes from themselves. Where do you think they send uh, there is at the moment? S4 yeah, and I going the to the top. Bristle mid. The is going bottom, as I expected. But I didn't expect the Storm plus IO lane on the off lane. Huh, this is interesting. Well, this is, uh, so, I mean, kind of lame matchup wise. So it'll be the Storm and Io up against the Witch Doctor Axe. I mean, should Secret do all right in this lane, or is it going to be a pretty tough lane for them? Mm, I think Storm should be able to farm quite well against, because uh, he's pretty good against melee heroes because of the Remnant. So he's going to get a decent farm, but uh, I feel the Bristleback would have a lot of problems, though. I don't, I'm not sure. Maybe the Wiz will actually go help the Bristleback shortly. I'm not sure what their plans are, but if he's going to be 1v1 against OD, he's not going to have a good time. Yeah, we'll see how well Resolution's able to, to do here against RTZ and straight away there. Just uh, taking the intel down and bottom lane. Uh, the other lane we haven't really talked about, and Loha Dance actually going to TP up to top here. So it looks like they're going to send the Undying up here with the Axe, because mid lane, bit of a rotation coming in. Look at this, Arteezy is in a lot of trouble. This could be your first bird, ladies and gentlemen. One more right click, will seal the deal. And Resolution getting first bird in the mid lane against the Bristleback with the help of the rotation from Witch Doctor. I mean, you were saying this was going to be a hard lane for Bristleback. It's going to be even harder now, giving the first bird to OD. Yeah, and Yoki has already moved towards the bottom lane as well. So they're going to, like I expected, a lot of musical lanes. They're going to move the Queen of Pain top as well. Let's see whether the Brute is going to move now. <laughs> That'll be interesting. I, mean, I guess, yeah, that is the question. If you are the side of Secret, do you kind of just, you know, take it on the chin? Or, or do you need to react and do you need to keep this Brute away from the Axe? Mm, I think probably maybe in the future, maybe you put the Brute in the lane for a couple of minutes. Maybe he gets his like, level 4 or level 5 before you try and move. Because if, if you move now, you might lose a lot of momentum on the hero because that hero is very reliant on having a very good laning phase. Absolutely. And so, I mean, the top lane, obviously the fact that S4 is now having to deal with a bit of a different matchup with the Undying and the Quop, it's, it's going to be a tricky lane, especially with the eye leaving him. Kuroki's actually headed towards the mid lane, helping RTZ try to secure this rune. The question is, are uh, Empire in a position to try and fight this one? Looks like they want to do so. Resolution coming in as well. Artor, he's out of mana. They're going to try and move in, and Resolution will be able to snag the rune here. Now Artizi will be able to head back up to the high ground. He's got the heals of Kuroki. He's going to be okay. But again, just uh, we're really seeing the Bristleback struggling against this OD at the moment. Yeah, and S4 already got himself a teleport score, so that actually might mean they're going to switch up their lanes fairly soon. He's going to move towards the bottom lane in a short period of time. But CM is probably going to try and gank the bottom lane first, but he's only level 2, so only one spell available. Won't be easy for a kill. Yeah, they might be able to provide a little bit of harassment at the same time, of course, with this sentry here. 
Yoku. He's going to be entirely aware when the Cub Puppy comes in, but this is a wise move, and he's gone right round the back, so there's nowhere for Yoku to run, and maybe they can achieve something. And there's a TP in as well from Kuroki. They really want to try and kill Yoku here. There's going to be a rotation from Witch Doctor, though, and now with the call, Yoku trying to turn this one around. Puppy's getting low with the spins. They will bring down the CM. Axe does end up paying with his life, and now it's the question whether Secret can find anything more. It doesn't look like it. Always want to fly. We'll be able to get back to the tower. But all in all, you know, the rotation there from the side of Empire securing the fact that they bring down the CM before the Axe goes down. Very nicely done again from Empire. Yeah, and I think they're going to move soon. The Brute as well just got his TP scroll, so they're going to wait to see. I think they want to wait if the Axe TP is down towards bottom, then the Brute will TP top. If the Axe doesn't TP bottom, then he wouldn't TP top. I guess that's what they're waiting for. But Yoki is going to move towards the jungle right now. And Brute Mother is going to get a kill on the Witch Doctor. Oh yeah. man, I mean we saw Zarya just harassing back the Witch Doctor and then just going in for the final blow. And indeed, Witch Doctor may be just overestimating the power of the Voodoo Restoration. So bringing it to 2 for 2 now on the board. I mean, in terms of CS-wise though, look at the board, Winter. Uh, Empire, they're having a great time. Top 3 at the moment. Mm, yeah, that's looking good for them, but I still think like Come mid game, secret will be if they can get a couple of pick offs from the storm spirit and with the relocate, they can afford to go like slightly behind from the laning phase. Their lineup is good to even play from a little bit behind from the start, so I guess it's fine un for them to be slightly behind in the laning phase. But Empire with the undying on their side, they need to secure some sort of advantage from the late, uh, from the early game. And indeed, we haven't seen Lower Dance being able to get himself involved in any of the action at the moment. But indeed, as you're saying, the fact that Yoku is heading into the jungle, they're going to be able to utilize that. At the same time, though, we've seen Puppy, of course, on the CM. He's been doing what he can in the jungle. And also Artur backing up now, trying to catch himself up in terms of CS there, clearing out of camp with the help of Kuroki. I mean, as for on this off lane, he's been fighting a fair few levels. Level 4 at the moment. We will now see him TP down to the bottom one. So keeping himself away from that undying co-op, Jewel Lane and Zai will indeed head up top. So coming up to five minutes in, that's the lane swap that we were looking for from Secret. Yeah, and X is nearby, so they could actually swap the lanes as well if Empire wants to TP the co-op down and the X will take the top lane. So this would be... Then the Brute Mother cannot move around because he just uses TP. Oh, Silence picked up a TP. They might, yeah, Silence going to head <laughs> back down there. This is absolutely musical lanes at his best. And uh, they're going to be right ready to contest with S Force Farm here. The cars coming through, Silent coming in as well with the burst damage of the bounces. They're there, they're real, and they're going to be able to bring down S Four. That's going to be a kill there for Empire. And again, very smart rotations from the side of Empire. And indeed, Joku, he's going to be able to get the call off here. Zai trying to go with Puppy and Kuroki. Can Yoku get himself back to the tower? There's going to be a TP coming through. It doesn't matter. The nuke there from Zai is enough to bring him down. And oh, I can already tell, Winter, this is going to be a very close game between these two sides. And Secret maybe thinking if they can look for more here. Pop in the web here, trying to get this movement speed to get in range here. Onto always want to fly. Ah, the spirits as well here. Always want to fly, getting low, but oh, they're not going to want to dive that. It's just a little bit too far for the side of Secret, and they will back themselves off. Uh, the heal just barely keeping him alive there. Otherwise, he would have died. But. All in all, I guess the lanes are like both sides getting a kill after changing lanes. So the Axe and the Storm not having a good time after that. Both of the heroes dying. And both of these heroes are their tempo controlling heroes as well. And Zai is going to get called at top. Yeah, indeed. He's trying to go in on uh, Yoki. Yoki TPT on his own. And now he's in trouble because Puppy's there with a the rotation. And that will be a kill for the side of Secret shutting down the Axe again in the top lane. And the lower dance, he's, yeah, he's just going to have to back up here. I mean, kind of looking at the two drafts so far, it kind of does feel that the Undying, he hasn't really found a position to be that effective here in the laning stage. Yeah, if you you are forced to do musical lanes like this, a hero like Undying ha is going to suffer because he doesn't want to move. Undying is a hero that he wants to stay in the lane, take experience, keep using his DK and try to fight. Uh, I mean, try to, try to take a fight at the tower with, with your tombstone. That's what the hero wants to do, but... Because they are always changing lanes, so he can't settle down. And you can't really use the hero well if you're always moving around. And Secret now with three heroes up here, making the uh, skip happen. And they're going to be able to get the damage onto the tower. Fortification will come out. Empire, will they be able to stop this one? Ran out of the casket. It's just going to bounce between the babies. And Yoku just moving in as well. Does have the backup, of course, of Aloha Dance. And I always want to fly. He's on the sidelines as well. 
So it looks like Empire will be able to hold this tier one for the time being. I mean, obviously looking at the other lanes, it's kind of turned the mid lane into a bit of a free farm session here for Resolution. 43 for 23 at the moment in this mid lane. And bottom lane, the one for one at the moment between S4 and Silent. Silent does have a two level advantage in Hello, We might see a bit of a clash here because Zai, he's found always want to fly here. Kuroki coming in as well to help out. Zai now in a mega kill streak. That is another kill for this spider and Zai. He's been having a pretty good game so far, even with the lane rotations from Empire trying to deal with him. He's 5 for 0 at the moment. And well, Yoku, looking for the call, won't be able to find it. And well, we're starting to see why teams do like to ban out this Broodmother, because it's uh, proven to be quite annoying for Empire to play against. The other factor that's really interesting is, as well is the Wiz played by Kuroki. It's always constantly following the Brood right now, instead of helping the Bristol. The Bristol has been alone for the past, like I would say, 3 minutes. He's been doing jungle stacks and pushing out his lane. And the IO was just moving around and trying to set up kills with the Brumada. So they got the last couple of kills because the IO was there to help them out. Oh, we're going to see Silent. He's found himself an Invis rune. There was no vision here from the Radiant on the bottom lane. So something big could come of this. There's two heroes at the moment towards the mid. Artis and Kuroki. They need to be careful. The lower dance resolution. And in fact, Rizzi always want a fly coming in as well. They want to do something here. They're going to be able to scout them out here on this camp. Is anyone going to come in and follow out Silent? Is he going to go for the cheeky kill onto Kuroki? Oh, Kuroki. Oh, you were such a beautiful IO. Oh, and he's going to live. Is he going to live? No, surely not. No, Silent is able to blink forward and finish him off there. Kuroki nearly, nearly saving himself there with the tether to Arto. Yeah, but that's not a really high value kill, I feel like. No. It's, as long as you didn't lose the pistol, it uh, fine with it, and you have to use like a long, a very long cooldown, I would say, on the Sonic Wave. And oh. top lane always wanna fly. Again, this is like the third time, I guess, he got chased down by spiders. Absolutely. I mean, Witch Doctor, not, not the funnest of heroes to play when you're in a lane alone against a, uh, a Broodmother. I mean, Zai's just gonna kill you every time now at this point. Always wanna fly, he's gotta stick with the guys. But six for four, and the fact that Zai, all six kills for the team Real so far. Top. Yeah, Yoku, he's all alone here. With Puppy coming in as well. This is going to be another kill for the side of Team Secret. There will be TPs coming into the top lane. Always want to fly, thrown out the cast. But he's on his own as Zai. Might even think about going back into this one as the Witch Doctor. Now he's going to be on his own again and always want to fly. Realizes he does not want to stick around in this lane and does back himself off. But yeah, this Zai brood is becoming a massive issue here for the side of Empire. And that was a really early level 6 for the Wiz as well because he got so many kills and they did not expect that at all. So this Broodmother will be very strong right now. Oh. He's gonna get caught by the cask. This would be a big kill if they could get it, but Zai just TP's out. He's at this point of the game, he's, he's so far he can just afford to do that and not worry about being bursted down. Level 9 on your Brood. And, and, and that's a bit of an issue when you, we kind of throw in a Witch Doctor and a Queen of Pain and you can't kill the Broodmother. Yeah. Now the Axe cannot lane against the Brood at all because of how the early game went. They were switching lanes around and the Axe suffered because he died a couple of times during the rotations. And with the level 6 on the Wiz to relocate on, it means that technically no one can stand on the Brood's lane because he always has that plus 2 factor. So they have to be very very careful with dealing with the Broodma. He's gonna be, he can play very aggressive because of the relocate this game. And here we go, s 4 has been given a bit of space here on this bottom lane. In terms of the net worth though, looking at the board, Empire, they're still looking fairly healthy. We have got Zai at the top on 5.4k, but then he is followed up by both Resolution and, of course, good old Silent on the Queen of Pain. Oh, top lane, they're going to make him blink and they want to relocate him. Yeah, let's watch top. going to blink. He wants to try and man fight this. He, he doesn't want to blink. He oh. knows. Yeah, in comes your. Oh, there's your relocate. <laughs> it's not even needed. Zai cleans up on his own. But as you said, there, the mind game. Silent knew that when he was going to blink, a relocate was going to on, come on top of him. And it's. I mean, it's in situations like this where you kind of look at the drafts as secret and you realize that they can play it so well against Empire's lineup. You, you kind of expect like the Bristol to be with the IO all the time, but then because the IO was always with the Brood, he set up so many important kills and they, are a lot, they have a lot of level advantage because of that. Like the IO was able to create so much uh, opportunities for the Brood to get kills in the early stages of the game and it's totally paying off for them right now. Indeed, and thanks to these kills as well. The lead in terms of net worth overall is around a 4k lead, which 12 minutes in middle is lane. pretty impressive. They're coming in in the middle as well. They're going to wait for the Bristol. Uh, here we go straight onto resolution. Oh, he didn't manage to get off the vortex. So this is going to be defensive. 
Uh, he just protected himself there. And now here comes the Vortex onto Resolution. The Death Force being popped out by Oswald to fly. They're trying to turn this one around, but RTZ, they've already been able to kill the OD. RTZ will be able to get out. S4 will almost only be able to find the Witch Doctor. He's doing his best. He will get it. Yoku was able to find the kill onto the CM. We're seeing a bit of a fight continue as well as Zai. Looking for Silent here in the trees. He's found him and he's going to go in with a right click. Yoku trying to come through as well. Now it's S4 returns to the fight. Gets himself a double kill. They're going to look for Yoku as well. Yoku gets the call off. Aloha does to turn up. Trying to turn this one around. Zai, can he find the kill onto Yoku? No, he can't. Can't quite find it. Kuroki's coming in to help Zai get out. Or maybe Zai wants to stick around here with the help of the Io. He could look to continue to fight this one up against the Undying. Nah, he's going to back himself up to the high ground. But a bit of a hectic fight there. Ending up three for two trade for the side of Secret. Empire losing both of their cores. And Secret losing the two supports and the Storm Spirit there. I think I think Empire came up slightly on top from that because they were behind with Neville. So an even trade meant that got a lot they got more than Secret, but at the end of the day, I mean, Secret is still in very much control of the map, having more, because they have Broodmother to steal jungle from Empire, and they have their own jungle for the Bristol and the Storm to farm up, so they are using the map much better than Empire oh. right now, and Aloha Dance. Oh, he's oh. gonna live! The call is massive from Yoku, the spins and the dunk! Shutting side down. What a reaction there from Yoku, and what a time to have a blink dagger. Aloha Dance, he's gonna need to have to change his underwear, but he lives. The axe, is, the axe was just there about at the last moment to yeah. save him and they are going to make another movement, relocate bottom as well. Silent, is he going to live here? No, he's going to die. No. <laughs> yeah, so they do get a kill there on the bottom, they did, but yeah, losing the Crystal Maiden and uh, losing the Broodmother across the map. So another favourable trade for Empire and Empire proving that they might have what it takes well, to take a game S4. for Secret. They want to get S4 here. There we go, setting it up. Time it. He has to time it. Yoku, I've got to say, now they play, it, these plays from Yoku, they're big, you know, he, he didn't have the greatest of laning stages, you know, Broodmother was having a better time, but now he's coming in with the plays that are really counting and helping Empire swing themselves back into this one. Yeah, he's keeping his team in the game with the, the last couple of pickoffs that he had, this will open up uh, Roshan for Empire, so this will be really, really crucial for them, this few minutes, if they can use the Aegis to to get a couple of objectives done on the map, especially the towers. When you have Undying, you want to push towers basically, but they're losing on tower count against Seeker's lineup. That's not what they want, but the Aegis will be a good start for them. Uh, here we go, 12 to 10 at the moment, and indeed the Aegis on OD. And uh, well, the question is, yes, yeah, so do, do Empire, they're kind of on a timer, do they need to keep the aggression on at this point? Yeah, they need to get towers now, so Queen of Pain going to jump in, put a Shadow Strike on CM, but not going to be able to follow up on that. But they definitely need to use the Tombstone plus the Aegis right now. But Secret obviously going to try and split them up over the map. Oh, Yoku again gets the cool and the dunk onto Kuroki. There'll be a TP out from Artor and Zai will just head away. But again, this Blink Axe making a lot of good things happen for the yeah, side of Empire. And, pick off after and, pick off. And something important as well. They know that Kuroki plays wards, but they can't find the wards of Kuroki. He plays like four sentries around the area and he wasn't able to find the wards that Kuroki plays. So they are going to have a lot of vision in the jungle for Secret. Uh, absolutely. I mean, Resolution, so on this on uh, our world of Ara, he's got the four staff so far. Which reckon he'll decide to build up next on, on this position, uh, well, this mid hero? I think he's gonna go for a big item next, okay. Poppy, the, the Hex, I think. I'm not sure if he wants to go for early BKB because they need someone to deal damage and because Queen of Pain is not having the best of time, so they have to rely on the OD to do more work and I'm thinking maybe he goes for Hex right away. Uh, here we go, and low R dance, he's finding a bit of space here on this bottom lane and top lane side, that's got a double damage. He doesn't have any detection on himself, neither does the OD, so it's going to be a bit hard to catch out Zai. Zai should be safe. Yeah. It's up to Yoku he's whether he finds the call or not. He's going for a battle brute mother build, going for the threats and SNY. The medallion is something unusual, but the SNY I know a lot of players like to go for this battle build. SNY plus traits and moving into more, maybe a butterfly next or sometimes you get a BKB after that. For this game, I think BKB is not so useful against their heroes. It's only going to help against the ultimate of the OD and the Scream basically and the cast. The rest of the spells of Empire's heroes all go through BKB. So I think BKB might not be so worth the purchase here for the Broodmother. Maybe oh. he goes for like a Skadi next. I've seen some players go Tritz, okay. SNY, Skadi okay. on Broodmother. 
It's quite oh. effective. And either way, you can't escape. You can't escape. Yeah. <laughs> it just runs you down, absolutely. And if you're some of the supports on Empire, that's not going to be fun to deal with at all. I mean, I think, as you said, once they get this, if they do get the Scythe up on OD, that's going to be massive because they do need a little bit more control. You know, Undying and Witch Doctor, you know, the powerful, you know, good pushing supports, but in terms of locking down heroes like the Broodmother, they don't really offer too much at all. Yeah, they're relying all on the call and basically you need to call you need to call the Rizzler, you, you want to call the IO as well so you kill the IO and there's a storm so you need more to lock them down so I, I guess Hex would be an option that the OD will be thinking about right now whether he wants to go for that early Hex uh, here we go and, uh, and Zai just uh, taking the dominance here from this top lane and uh, so Empire they're trying to push around it here they're trying to Get the creep way towards this tower. Mid lane as well, Arteezy was trying to do a bit of damage to the tier 1. Bottom lane, the remainder of the side is secret. We've got S4, yeah. Kuroki, and Puppy down here at the moment. Just look at the map again. They, are, they know Empire want to use the Aegis, so obviously Secret have heroes all over the place pushing. So the Undying, he's having so much of a trouble trying to grab the creep wave near a tower so he can use the Tombstone. So this is a very good play from Secret, not allowing Empire to group and just push down a tower with the Aegis and Tombstone. Let's have a look. As we can see, look at the XP. It's come back dread to zero. And, and the net worth, I mean, it was a 4k lead. Now it's gone down to two. The side of Empire certainly keeping a secret in place this game. Uh, it's just kind of a question when these big cores come online for both sides. I mean, Arteezy, we haven't really seen him uh, do much, uh, well, kind of look for any fights at this moment. And the oh, same thing kind of passes for... Oh, indeed, there's going to be a real okay onto a low R dance. He pops down the tombstone. Puppy here with the ultimate. They'll have more than enough damage to bring him down. Now, <coughs> Empire, they might try and do something here in turn. Silent blinking forward with the Death Ward as well. Oh, Sonic Wave onto Puppy. Yoku looking for the call. He's not going to find it. And Aya will be able to re-relocate back out of the fight. But the side of Empire finding something in return. And maybe seeing if they can go for S4. Hey, S4 will zip to the sidelines. He'll TP out. And there won't be an Astral Imprisonment in time to, to stop him from getting away. Yeah, but Seeker will be really happy with that trade. Uh, they... They made the Queen of Pain use her ultimate, so... And they're gonna be able to, I guess, take the middle tower because all of them teleported bottom. I don't think anyone can TP to defend. Oh, Axe can TP. Axe is TPing top, so they're gonna lose probably the middle tower, I think. I always want to fly just run out of cask, but as you said, that's all it's going to be here. Now the TP coming through, but the tower's already gone down, and it is just a low heart dance. And does he really want to fight into this one? There's a dead. lot of damage coming out. This would have been a ballsy TP, and indeed, that's your undying dead. Silent and always want to fly. Might want to try and turn this, but the rest of secrets here. The taker down, Silent. They're probably going to find the witch doctor here as well, zipping forward. This is going to be three pickoffs for the side of secret. Yoku trying to do what he can with the call on to Zai, but he's going to go down as well. And Empire throwing away four heroes in the mid lane. What a disaster there for the side of the Dyer. We got lag our end, and it looks like they might have got some lag as well, so it is a little bit unfortunate. But, oh man, that was not good for Empire throwing away four heroes like that. Yeah, that's that's what happens when you have this sort of lineup and you're forced to split up. Your lineup it has to function when everyone is together. When you're divided, heroes like Storm and Real Kid will just take over your lineup. So that's, that was basically what happened from Empire. They just tried... They tried too much to defend their towers. They had to accept the loss of the tier 1 and middle, but they sort of force, forcefully tried to defend with the Undying tipping in. And there were so many heroes there, because Storm and Relocate, so you, you might not see them there, but you always have to count that there are heroes that are probably coming from a far distance. But, so that was basically what happened to Empire. They tried to defend the towers too much, and they paid a huge price for it. And the sentry's been popped down here, Zai. Keeping himself out of harm's way here on the side. There is a fair few members of the side of Empire here, so he wants to be careful where he pops out. But still, an hour after that fight, I don't know if it's going to have ticked it yet on the graph. So it's coming up to over 5k in terms of XP and 7.5k in terms of gold. With those kills that will kick in, we might even be reaching across to 10,000. Yeah. That, that was a big swing for Secret. That's not good for Empire. So Resolution has decided to, get, to, to go for the hex. He okay. purchased the ultimate orb already. So he's definitely going towards the disable type of item build this game. He has to do a lot of work basically because the team is not looking good for them right now after the last team fight. Indeed. Arteezy, he is now going to have his finished up BKB as well. So he's going to be a big threat in these fights with that on top of the Vanguard. And uh, well, We'll have to see what Empire want to do here as their next movement silent. He's going to work at taking down this tier 1. Does have the backup as well if Secret are going to TP in for this. But it looks like S4, he's content with pushing out here on the bottom lane. On top of the Orchid now, 2,000 gold. 
and net worth wise is looking very healthy for the individual heroes of secret with them having the top three farmers on the board at the moment yeah this is definitely looking like secret is already in control of this game and empire is going to camp three heroes behind the bristol here i think that they might need more heroes to kill this bristol i'm not even kidding he's so hard to kill right now with the bkb yeah we'll see what what the actual plan is here from them there they're not coming out quite yet Ilk is silent in a low dance. Just taking it easy here, but at the same time, this is when, uh, you know, Secret, they're finding quite a bit across the map here. We've got Zion, the jungle, S4, down on this bottom lane. And they're still not leaving the tree line here. What, what are they waiting for, Winter? I'm not there sure, though. <laughs> uh, they're going to leave now, yeah. But I was thinking, like, maybe they are just waiting for them to split up, but Secret just went off the map, and the, I guess their jungle observer what saw the other heroes nearby so they decided that it's not worth the risk but now they're gonna see Poppy here but they saw the brute I think they saw the brute nearby yeah they definitely saw him that's a sentry there so they know there's two heroes in the jungle here for secret oh Puppy just managed to TP out there yeah, why God was blinking across there looking for the call resolution coming in and in fact oh S4 S4 found a solo kill onto Silent, but the fight is it's actually happening up here in the jungle. In goes RTZ here, he's trying to go down to low. Artans always want to fly for another. Cast trying to hold back the bristle back. He's trying to chase this one down there. Is an insane amount of lag. Apologies, perfect world servers. Astral imprisonment here onto the Broodmother. And it looks like Empire will be able to disengage and get themselves back out of this one. Yoku needs to be careful there. He was looking for the call onto the creeps. Now Zion RTZ coming in with the reduced armor. Yoku taking so much damage, does get four stuff back here by resolution. And RTZ wants the kill, pops the BKB. The resolution pops the Astral onto the axe, but it looks like something can prolong the Invernevers, but no! He gets the blink out! <laughs> Yoku surviving by the skin of his teeth there. And uh, Empire losing a lot less than uh, than they could have there. So so well played there by the side of Team Empire. Yeah, but they're still losing a lot of map control. Now the whole map is like occupied by Secret. So Empire lost control, lost the full control of their jungle and Roshan is going to be the next thing. Like If you don't have map control against the Storm and Ayo, you're not going to be able to contest Roshan. For sure, and Empire's lineup, if you can't move out on your base, you're gonna have like, I would say, like a, a useless hero, Undying, because Undying doesn't do anything if you're stuck in your base. Oh, Silent. Hey, we'll blink away straight away here. And 18 to 12 at the moment. Let's have a look at the graphs, how they've progressed. And yeah, we're starting to see a fairly sizable lead now. 12,000 in terms of net worth for the side of Secret, and it's over 10k as well in terms of XP, so... Yeah. And this is, I mean, with the lineup that Empire have, it was, it was as you were saying in the draft, it was a lineup that was designed to really kind of dominate the laning stage. Yeah, they needed to dominate the laning stage and push towers, but so far that didn't happen. And they, go, they got uh, a good play by getting the first Roshan, but now they are back into a sort of a similar problem again. They can't leave their base and all the towers are down. So they need to make something happen now. So they, they're going to smoke four heroes and hopefully get a pick off here in the 24 minute rune. Oh, oh S4, okay. he goes Yoke. for the rune here. Oh, Kuroki with the save. It looks like Io. Is he going to be able to look for a cheeky tether to puppy? Can he make this tether happen? That is the question. Oh, no, the call's there. Kuroki's very much dead. But Art easy. He wants to avenge his mate here. Pops the BKB and he goes in. Silent is going to be able to blink away here. Now S4 taking him to the fight. Resolution force off himself up to the high ground. They haven't finished him off yet. They want to get low hard dance first. And they're looking for the TPI resolution. He will be able to escape. So it is just the Undying going down. The Secret do manage to find something in return. Zai, Zai, he's got the Desolator and he's breaking the base here. Looks like he will pay with his life as everything in the kitchen sink is thrown down on his head. But they've got to be very aware of this brood. The fact that he's got this Deso, he's already going to, always going to be knocking on your back door every time you come out of the base. And it's going to be, I mean, with his item build, it's so easy to get Roche with Modellan, Deso, and the Bristol. So the moment everyone responds, I, I think Secret are going to try and push all the lanes out and then look for a suitable timing to just... I think once they get the Roche, the game is pretty much in the back for Secret. If they can get the next Roche, uh, Empire needs to somehow prevent that from happening and get the rush for themselves so if they can't if they can't do that i think they they are gonna lose the game very quickly indeed i mean again rush up rtz is gonna head in with the back of a karaoke empire will they be able to get themselves in there in time to contest puppy's picked himself up the yules here now hex on the od now and gem on the x so yeah. they need to go soon do they actually know this huh they actually have no idea it looks like the side of Secret, though. 
Oh, no, yeah. Off, huh? yeah, they feel a little bit scared. It's about really slow without the brute mother. <laughs> They're not doing it fast enough. So, uh, and Empire was like off the map. And if you look at the wards, so because of the gem, Empire were able to clear out the remaining wards. And Secret, without the vision, that they didn't feel comfortable finishing the Roshan. So they back out. And now they're going to smoke all the heroes. And Empire's going to place one ward at the cliff. But it's going to give them some decent information. But they're all smoked. So he's not, they're not going to see anyone near the Roshan. And probably Secret is just going to finish the Roshan. With the brute here, it's just going to be done very quickly. Yeah, not, even, not, <laughs> not even five seconds. It's like four seconds. He's gone. Um, melts at an insane pace. And with that... Aegis now onto Arteezy. Secret, they're very well in a position to fight here. And Empire, they realize that. Oh, they didn't expect the Yules. They didn't expect the Yules here. And now with the Vortex onto Resolution, bringing him in. Yoku looking for the call. Is he going to find it? Resolution, he gets the side out, but he's probably going to tick out into the soul burn damage. Oh, he's going to keep himself alive for the time being with the Astral. At the same time, Artor, but Borg is going ham on the back lines. Resolution will drop. Arteezy has already found the Witch Dust. He's going to try and find more here. There's a Sonic Wave coming out, but no one's dying on the side of Secret. Finally, Artor does go down, but he's got the Aegis. He's ready for round two. Yoku will fall into the right clicks of Puppy. There'll be a bye back from Axe, but the rest of Team Empire, they have no buybacks available, and now Secret, they've pretty much got free reign of bringing down the base of the side of Empire, and that was an incredibly bad fight for Empire to lose there. Uh, kind of hard to blame them though, they are so far behind and they have uh, Aegis on the Bristol back as well, so he just like ran in so aggressively, and I mean, there's nothing much they can do about it, so I mean, this game is pretty much over for... Empire and they're gonna be looking to figure out what's wrong and they want they want to do it better the next game. I think this game it was just mainly I would say the early game was the most crucial part. The rotations of the lanes where they put the brute on a safe lane and they decide to move the brute later on at a really good timing and the other important point was the whiz. The gangs of the whiz early game was so good with the brute mother. Yeah, I mean the question is going into the second draft. Do, um, I've, do the Empire need to be, ban out both the Io and the Brood, or, or what's the issue here? In if you ban those two, you're gonna lose. Yeah. Uh, you're gonna lose <laughs> out banning the Tusker. Uh, they banned Tusker plus, I think Lash? I can't remember the, the other one. I remember the ban Tusker. The first ban was Tusker. So if they do go for the Whis and the Brood, they're gonna leave the Tusker open. So it's like, you can't really ban everything. You have to choose what you want to deal with. Yeah, let's have a look at the graphs now. 20,000 XP, over 25,000 in terms of gold here, favoring the side of Secret. BKB is now picked up by S4. It's, yeah, Empire gonna need a wombo combo and a half if they want to catch out the side of Secret. And, and just so far, the game has been slowly falling apart for Empire and, and Secret, they're making the most of it. Artor, you know, he's got his Hyperstone now on top of the Vanguard, the BKB and the SMY. Working towards what we'd imagine to be the AC, and once they get an AC online with the Desolator on the Brood, the remainder of the base is just going to absolutely melt. There's only one set of racks here, and Tier 3 is left on the side of Empire. Their base not looking in the healthiest of positions. They have to rely. There's only like one way I think they can win a fight. They get a very, very big Berserker's call with the OD ultimate and the Sonic Wave. If they cannot burst like instantly one or two heroes from that, then they just lose the fight right away. So it's gonna be up to Yoki whether they can win, at least make a defense here. Oh, indeed, here we go with the call on to Puppy, but Puppy, he gets saved again by K-God, and now S4, he wants to try and clean up, he's found the OD, there's a death ward from the high ground for this Witch Doctor, he's trying to do what he can, but the damage is just not enough, one hero down, RTZ heading in onto the front lines, and they're going to be able to maybe fight a second, yes, Aloha does goes down, always one of Fly's going to lose his life as well, GG is called by the side of Team Empire, and Secret taking the first game here of this best of five finals winter, and what a performance from the side. The decision making, I mean, the laning, the laning phase was just really good from Secret. I mean, they were reading the opponents and again with the unconventional lane, the Storm on uh, Storm plus Io, they started out, that's how they started out the lanes with, on the off lane. A, a little similar to what they did in one of the few games where they lane like Razor and Witch Doctor on the off lane. Not something you see every, every game, but it certainly worked out this time around for Secret because it forced like